The face of teaching and learning is transforming, and so too is the classroom space at Humber. The new classroom features collaborative tables that are sectioned into bright, vivid stations that contain an LCD screen, mobile work pods, and all of the essential cords and cables that students need to connect with their team. There are many ways to display a source, on the main LCD touchscreen at the front of the room, on the projector, or on the colorful wall-mounted LCD screens. Each can display content from any source, such as a local PC, which is a computer that is always found in the classroom podium, or any other laptop or device that is connected to a work pod. The LCD screen automatically turns on when a device is connected to the main touch panel. The screen will automatically turn off five minutes after you remove your device. Each table has a series of buttons which can activate or deactivate the device you'd like to use. These buttons have indicators which will either light up red, blue, or green. A flashing red light indicates that the machine is not yet ready or requires service. A blue light indicates that there is no device connected. As usual, green means go. Solid green will indicate that a device is connected. Press the button to display the connected device on the large LCD screen. The green button will flash while the device is on display. To control the system using either the docked or wireless tablet, touch the screen anywhere to wake the display, and enter the login on the pin pad to turn the system on. Once logged in, the main control page will show up. The main control page on the touch panel will have two options, basic and advanced. The basic mode allows an instructor to broadcast any device to all the displays and speakers with the press of a button. The advanced mode, however, allows you to broadcast to specific individual stations. The tablet controls the displays using the same buttons and colors as the work pods. Each LCD monitor has a set of speakers, and there are also room speakers in the ceiling. To control the audio output, first select Audio Options. Then, adjust the volume levels of any given set of speakers by holding and dragging the buttons to the preferred volume. This might take a few moments. To control the lights, first select the Lights menu, then simply choose from the presets. There are several options, including All Lights On and All Lights Off. To power off the touch panel, select the power button and press Yes to shut down the collaborative system. This technology can aid in teaching in a more engaging and interactive way.